Howdy, y'all. Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today I've got a lesson on stoichiometry with ammonia. Very common. And you're going to need your periodic table. And you're going to need a calculator. All right. I'm going to make a few assumptions. First, I'm going to assume that you can write and balance a chemical equation. Then I'm going to assume that you can calculate molar mass, that you are familiar with the mole ratio in the uh, chemical equation, and that you understand stoichiometry. And if you don't, go to my channel, uh, Mr. Kazi or MrKazi.com, and watch the videos on these topics. All right, let's get started. The problem. How many grams of hydrogen are needed to produce 12.31 grams of ammonia? Now our first problem here is realizing that we have grams. And in order to uh, do the stoichiometry, we're going to have to use moles and the mole ratio. And that mole ratio is like magic. It helps us to change from one substance to another. So let's lay out our plan here. Write a balanced chemical equation change grams of NH3 or ammonia to moles, that's using our molar mass, then change moles of ammonia to moles of hydrogen, that's the magic, that's the uh, mole ratio that we're going to use there, and then change the moles of hydrogen to grams of hydrogen, and that's the molar mass again. With that plan, let's go to the magic blackboard. Let's put up our action list. First thing I want to do is write a balanced chemical equation. So I'll do that. Here's my chemical equation. Nitrogen plus hydrogen gives me ammonia, but it's not balanced. But if you notice, if I put a coefficient of a three there and a coefficient of a two there, that will balance everything on both sides. I'll have two nitrogen and six hydrogen on each side, and that makes it balanced. Let's go to the action list again. And our second thing, change grams of ammonia to moles of ammonia. In order to do that, I need to find out what Molar mass is, and the molar mass is 17.04 grams of NH3. If you don't know how to calculate that, I have a video for that. Go watch it. That's one of my assumptions in this situation. Let's plug and chug. We get 0.722 moles of ammonia with our sig figs. All right, next step. Now let's do moles of hydrogen. So going from moles of ammonia to moles of hydrogen requires the mole ratio. And you'll notice there that the mole ratio is three to two. So let's set that up. And I'm gonna put the moles of ammonia on the bottom so that moles can, of ammonia can cancel out. A lot of times people ask me, how do I know which way to set it up? Well, what do I want to cancel out? I want the ammonia to cancel out. So it's gotta go in the bottom. Okay, use your algebra skills there. Uh, plug and chug, and we get 1.08 moles of hydrogen. And when I look at the whole balanced equation, that makes sense. There should be moles, more moles of hydrogen than moles of ammonia. Finally, the last thing we want to do is change moles of hydrogen to grams of hydrogen. Set up our equation. Again, there's our molar mass, which I calculated from the periodic table. Now remember, uh, hydrogen is diatomic, so be sure to take the uh, molar mass and multiply it by two. And there we go, plug and chug. 2.18 grams hydrogen, and that's with our uh, sig figs, three sig figs in the problem. And so let's recap. We wrote a balanced chemical equation. We used molar mass. We then used the mole ratio, and we used molar mass again and changed grams of ammonia to grams of hydrogen. If you have any questions, just send off an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com, and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Check out MrKazi'sWorld.com or MrKazi.com where I have PowerPoint videos and much, much more. And also check out and subscribe to my YouTube. All right, everyone. Happy ions.